My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to ollie higher. The first thing I'm going to go over is the steps of the regular ollie so you guys can see the difference. Notice my front foot just down from the front bolts and my back foot with the ball of my toe just on the edge of the tail. So that's the foot position just for a regular ollie. And the first step you're going to do to practice a regular ollie is just clacking your tail on the ground just like that. So just stand still and just lift up your front leg and slap your tail on the ground for a little bit. That's the first step of learning how to ollie. The second step is actually this motion of your foot right here. So notice how my sole of my shoe goes into a 90 degree angle and then I slide my foot up. It's actually that slide that gives your board the lift, nothing else. It is that slide that brings your tail up off the ground because the front of your board is already off the ground so you just have to level your board out in the air bringing your tail up and it's that slide of the front foot which does that. So that's the basic ollie. I'm sure many of you guys have already gotten the ollie down but if you haven't you can just practice those steps and you'll get it down. So the difference between a regular ollie and when I'm trying to ollie higher or ollie over something is that I put my front foot further back. Notice how much further back my front foot was on that one. Instead of being up near the truck, it was down towards the middle of the board. And what that does is it gives me more room on the board to slide my foot up. So instead of having it right there, up near the front truck, I'm gonna slide that front foot back about halfway right in the middle as you can see there and then I can have a little more room to slide and power the ollie a little bit higher into the air so yeah it's just that motion right there you can even hear my shoes sliding on the grip tape you also need to be able to jump high and you actually have to be able to jump and bend your knees up into the air when you do the ollie because obviously when your board goes up into the air your legs are going to crouch up so the higher you can get your board while crouching your legs up into the air is going to be how high you can get your ollie now it definitely helps to have a nice fresh board like not an old soggy board where the wood is like all damp and it just doesn't pop very well you'll notice that you can pop higher and ollie higher on a brand new fresh board the other thing that helps on a brand new fresh board is fresh grip tape. You want really sticky grip tape so when you do that motion of your foot, it actually slides really well and your feet catch on the grip tape and it just pulls your board right up into the air. So let's take a look at the difference in height between the regular ollie with my foot up towards the truck and the ollie with my foot back towards the middle of the board a little further. So you can see I get a little more height on it there's the height of the regular ollie from my foot forward and there's the height with the ollie with my foot back in the middle of the board. You can also see that on the second one with my foot a little bit back more, I also like was able to tweak it out a little bit more. So that's another thing like when you ollie, you have to lift your back foot up into the air and then you have to push your legs out. It's a bit of an awkward feeling at first because there's not really anything else like it. So here we go. So you're gonna pop your tail on the ground and simultaneously begin sliding your front foot up. Notice the sole of my front foot is at a 90 degree angle to the board and it's sliding right up. And at this point it's already on the nose of the board, catching on the grip tape. Now you also have to lift your back foot up. You have to lift your back foot up in a jumping motion and it becomes kind of like a teeter-totter. Now at this point right here, my front foot is gonna start going down and it's gonna poke out a little bit as my back foot is coming up. And that's what I mean on the teeter-totter, like your front foot comes up and then your back foot follows. And then you get into that position right there where then you're gliding through the air, but you're board is not like perfectly flat but it's kind of boned out a little bit with your front leg extended a little more than your back leg 
and that's that whole teeter-totter motion thing and that's what I mean when I say it's a little bit awkward because it's not like just running and jumping where you just jump both legs in the air but like one leg goes up and then the other leg follows in this like smooth fluid motion so you want to keep that as fluid and smooth as you can and just slide your front foot simultaneous to your pop or your back foot while lifting both feet up and then you'll get the ollie down. Now in terms of getting your ollie higher, it does help a lot to set some things on the ground and start ollieing over it. Usually you can start with like a board or if you're very very first starting, you can start with like a hose. I think that's what I started with, a hose or a crack. And then yeah, you can just put bigger objects up until eventually you're ollieing over your GoPro camera on a tripod. This was really scary by the way, I nearly hit the camera. Look at how close my wheel comes right here. I think it's about an inch away from smashing into the screen. So luckily I didn't hit that. But that's another point right there. Look at how my front foot pushes down on the board, lifting the back of the board up into the air. So there's the GoPro version of that ollie. So yeah, just practice this a lot and you will get your ollies really high eventually. So yeah, just keep working on that guys. If any of you guys are still working on mastering the basics of skateboarding, any trick from the ollie, frontside 180, backside 180, pop shove it, frontside shove it, heel flip or kick flip, definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's super, super detailed and it will take you through every step of every one of those tricks. So yeah, check it out at brailleskateboarding.com and thanks a lot for all your help and support.